Doug Ryan is a professor of strategic studies at the University of St Andrews and joins us now from Glasgow. Professor, thank you for your time. Uh, so, from your strategic studies point of view, could you give us an appreciation of Rex Tillerson's time as U.S. Secretary of State? Well, there's not much there. I mean, he was appointed by Trump. Trump didn't know him before he was appointed Secretary of State. He was appointed as a way to reassure sort of mainstream Republicans who believed that Trump was too far out there, far too populist, far too dangerous. And so Tillerson was appointed as a sign of Trump's sort of lack of assurance or his ability or his need to appeal to sort of mainstream. They didn't get along from the very beginning. It doesn't seem that, that they ever trusted each other. Tillerson never thought much about Trump, and Trump needs his ego being stroked, so he never thought that much about Tillerson. So really, foreign policy became more and more concentrated in the White House. So it's hard to say that Tillerson had any real influence in achieving anything. Maybe what he did is he kept Trump from doing some things that Trump would have done otherwise, such as repudiating the Iran Accords. So you can't really talk about a Tillerson era or a Tillerson uh, great change. You can talk about perhaps a slight moderation of Trump behavior. Uh, people talk about uh, the, uh, the State Department being slightly diluted in terms of its ability to function because of cuts that Donald Trump wants to impose on that department. Was Tillerson hampered by that or not necessarily? Well, there's two things that, that go on. One, actually, they didn't... A lot of diplomats resigned when Trump was elected, so that there were a lot of vacancies in the State Department that have not been filled, and Trump seems very slow in filling them. Uh, partly that's funding, and partly that's because they don't have the right candidates. So the State Department has been hamstrung in personnel terms from the moment um, that Trump became president. So, you know, that is actually one. The other is Trump is, uh, you know, he wants control for himself. He doesn't like to delegate authority. And the only way a State Department has authority in the American system is if the president trusts the Secretary of State. The president has to be able to say, the Secretary of State is doing what I want the Secretary of State to do, and therefore I'll let the Secretary of State get on with it. Trump never felt that about Tillerson, in which case the Secretary of State is almost hung out to dry because the president can intervene at any time and take over a foreign policy issue. Okay, just briefly, if you don't mind, Professor, finally, if Mike Pompeo does get congressional approval, what do you expect from him? Well, I mean, certainly he comes from a stronger right wing of the Republican Party. He comes from Kansas. He's a military guy. Uh, rhetorically, he would be much more along Trump's line uh, in, in more the populist uh, element. I mean, he's not, um, you know, I think quite as far out as some people say. I mean, he is still you might say, a rational Republican. He would be more likely, however, to agree with the harder line that Trump takes to appeal to his populist supporters, much more so than Tillerson, who really was a man of, of business and capital. Professor Phillips O'Brien, thank you very much indeed, sir.